Lit. Hello, welcome back to Turn and Burn UK. Today's project is the turning of a couple of mallets from a single piece of African blackwood. The African blackwood for, it comes in the form of a clarinet bell and I picked those up from Yandles. Unfortunately, the small mallet that goes with this mallet that you see in the video um, was was taken by a friend of ours who swung round to uh, and admired them. So this is a selection of the mallets that, that have been turned recently. Uh, both of the, all of these are African blackwood heads and this one is a lignum vitae head that has been made from a bowling ball. The African blackwood is really hard and dense and as you'll see on the video it looks really black when you first mount the, the bell on the, the lathe. But the um it polishes up really well and you'll notice that i use the cut and polish halfway through the sanding process and then i sand back again and then seal and put final cut cut and polish on and this is because it is so dense it will show every single sanding mark in the timber so you've got to be really really careful when sanding to remove the marks from the previous grit before you start turning, before you start sanding the next layer down. Um, and it's also worth giving it a quick wipe over with a tack cloth or some um, wet cloth just to just to remove any of the, the, the residue before moving on to the next grit. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So this is what I'm going to use for the mallets today. We've got piece of African blackwood this is called a clarinet bell that I've picked up from Yandles and then for the larger mallet we'll use a piece of Zebrano and for the smaller mallet I'm going to use this red timber not too sure what it is but we'll um, we'll cut into it and see what it looks like um, I've also got a piece of black walnut here um not too sure whether to use the black walnut or the zebrano i think i'll probably go with the zebrano but we'll see as we get on anyway the first thing we're going to do is mount the african blackwood in the chuck and uh, we'll make a start roughing down the heads of the mallets okay right so we've got the african blackwood in the lathe got the headstock tightened up speed turned right down Use the smaller of the two rests today. I had to change the camera angle because I've got this nice new dust extractor. Right, so normally I would use a roughing gauge on here, but you can also use a bowl gauge to get the same effect. So we'll start with the roughing gauge. We might rapidly move on to the bowl gouge we'll just see how we get on african blackwood is quite dense and uh and chips rather than cuts but once you've got the corners knocked off you can rub the bevel and get quite a nice finish so let's make a start turn the speed right down Start from the middle, work to the outside.
So we're almost round, got a little flat spot there and there. Bring the rest in a bit. This blackwood's got a little bit of the sapwood here. It's the heartwood that's black on the black African blackwood. Right, we're nice and round. Just going to put a tenon on here. Tenant. Now the head of the larger mallet, about 65 mil. But this bell is 140 mil, so we're just going to park this straight down the middle. And I'm going to put another tenon on this end. So the widest portion will be the base. We'll put a small tenon on here. So this is, that's going to be the base. This will be the top. We need to drill a hole in here before we shake the mallet. So we're going to drill the hole using Jacob Chuck. We want to be running about no more than 600 RPM. I'm just going to advance the, the drill in so that we're making shavings. And we know that we want the we want the shaft of the handle to go in about 50 mil. So, we'll reset the measurement on the quill, line the chuck up, As the drill bit gets hot, it's always worth putting rub a little bit of wax on the bit, it helps it run smoother. This is a very dense timber. Just need to make sure that the, the shavings are clearing, otherwise they build up within the timber itself. Now remember when you take when you take the Jacob chuck out of the end of the tailstock, the tool the the forstner bit will be hot. So put it somewhere where it's not liable to catch fire. So don't drop it in your shavings or something like that. Right. 
so that's that's the the hole for the the half of the the handle we can clean and shake this up now what i'm going to do i'm going to put a slight slight uh inverse angle to the head and i'm going to concave this in so that when the handle sits into this head the two will line up without leaving a gap what we can do is we'll take the the tenon off the bottom by swapping the jaws over to some pin jaws later on but first of all we'll just tidy up and shape this bit of uh, this head I don't know if you can see that. We've also almost got a perfect finish. You can see the reflection. That's thing. just down to the fact that African blackwood is quite a dense timber. to 600 grit and just give it a final once over with the tack cloth and then we'll put some sanding seal on Chestnut cellulose sanding sealer. Normally you would de nib this with the last grit that you've used on the uh, piece of timber. But in this case, I'm going to put another coat of cut and polish on. So that will de nib the uh, sanding sealer and it will also start to bring up the shine on the timber. I'm not going to put a final coat of wax on. There is wax in the cut and polish. But once the once the piece is finished I'll put it on the buffing system, give it a final buff and then finish it with some white crystalline wax. The walnut handle on the larger
Mira la. And then we'll use the Zebrano for the smaller one. First mallet. Now the handle's done, the top will just be sanded up, and then once I've done the second mallet, we will uh, we'll swap the jaws over and hold the head of the mallet in the jaws, like so, to clean the top off. Because this is going to be a smaller and a smaller force a bit so this force a bit is a 26 mil bit the last bit was 35 mil it's going to go a bit smaller we're going to use a 22 mil bit this time there we go With the cut and polish, just like the Yorkshire grit, you can stop at about 240 grit and then sanding sealer and use the cut and polish and it brings up a nice shine. 
it's horses for courses. But as the black was really hard, I prefer to take it down, then apply the sanding sealer and the cut and polish. Keep the cloth moving, don't want it to get too hot. There we go. Head of another mallet. So we'll just knock this around. Use the spindle up and go. So the spur drive at this end is too wide for me to park down the tenon to fit on the mallet head. So I'm going to work this end and then we'll swap the, the piece round to finish the, um, finish the handle. Perfect. Now we went in 40 mil. Right, so that's the handles done, that's the heads done. Just got to clean up the top of the malaise. There we are. There's that looking at? Right, so I'm just going to change the chuck jaws and we'll be back. Okay, so, quick change of jaws. First question is whether the smaller head... No, it won't. Okay, so when we come to remove this base, we will have to use jam chuck. I'll talk you through that. And just to take off the base of this this one
There we go. Alright, what's that one going? Now the the lines that you see cut on here and the same on here is just to help the glue bind when we glue the two together. I use Type one two, and then so what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue the handles in now, and then we'll come back tomorrow, tidy up the ends, give them a buff, and then they'll be ready to go. Okay, 